Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the series of React Native. It's been a while, but finally we are back and pushing the things on to next level. A lot of people, I'm super happy to announce that on, are on the Discord server and are also constantly learning React Native. This was one of the primary goal to start a series where people can collaboratively learn. So if you haven't just joined, uh, check out the link in the description, join our Discord server. People are just helping each other out. I also hang out a lot there. And again, a big shout out to Hashnode for sponsoring the entire series, but let's go and back up here. So uh, this is all what we have. Let's first close all these things because we don't need it. Uh, there's been a lot of files opened up. Our app is running fine and nice. And let's see at what status we are. So we have a couple of to-dos that we are going to be finishing up in this video. I'll just minimize this because we don't need it. We'll talk about the UI part in the next video. I will also introduce you to a new third-party library which will help and make our life super, super easy. So this is what we have generated password string. So this is the method that we want to finish. And we have another method, which is const reset password state. So this basically is going to do is take all these states in their initial level, which is uh, like false here, empty string, false, true, and all these things. First, we have already worked on create password as a logic. Now, the method actually will run will be this one, create password, but this will be able to create a password string which we'll be able to further pass on as a character. So how we can build this string. Now building this string is super, super easy. I'll first go up here and I'll remove this comment because we don't need it now. And what we're going to do is let's go ahead and have a character list or character keywords, whatever you like to call. Let's start with initial as empty. Now it's not a good idea to start with empty. You should have something in it so that at least in the bare minimum case, you have some words from which you can generate the password, but it's totally fine. Now we want to generate these cases. For example, I want to have a list of all uppercase letters. So what we're going to do is we'll have a simple list where we have all these uppercase letters and we will be keep on adding them based on what the state says. If the state says check mark and is it true, then we'll just add this uppercase, all these letters into this character list. Sounds super easy. Similar to this, what I've done is I've already written a couple of uh, words up here for you. Uh, like we have all the lowercase characters, we have digits, 0 to 9, of course, and we have special character, whatever the special character you want to include. Uh, some people like to avoid something, so it's just up to you. Now, all we got to do is simply write a simple if case, which checks up the state and whether we want to include something into our original character list or not. Let me give you a simple example of that. We have simply this. So we're going to check for the uppercase. So notice this, this uppercase is actually this one, the state we want to check. If this is the case, then what we want to do is take our character list and we want to plus equals the uppercase. You get the idea? Super simple logic. There is nothing complex. Similar to this, we're going to run another if statement. And this time we're going to check for, let's just say, lowercase. So this is lowercase. If the lowercase is there, then take your character list plus equals and add in the lowercase. Get it? Really, really simple. Let's go up here one more time. This time, let's check for numbers. You guessed it right. We need to do it one more time. And we'll have this character list that will be plus equal to numbers. There we go. And we're going to have an if case up here one more time. And we'll be having symbols. Symbols, character list. Please go ahead and plus equals uh, symbols. There we go. Really bad. We should have consistency in the spaces. All right. So this is now good. Uh, now all we got to do is this is a method which is responsible for generating a password string. So within this method, we're going to call this create password method so that finally we can pass on the character list as well as can get return back a password string. So let's go ahead and uh, just do this here. So let's go ahead and call this one as password. Uh, we can call this one as password result or we can say create password. So whatever may makes sense, you can just go ahead and do that. I'll just call this one as password uh, result. That sounds good. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and call this create password, which is a method. In this method, I'll just pass on my character list. There we go. And I have to pass on that. What is my password length? Now, password length, I will take up from here. So this is my password, uh, password length. And we don't have a password. Here it is. So this is the password length. Whenever somebody is going to call this method, they will actually pass me up this password length, the number. So we can just go ahead and pass it up as it is. So there is nothing, as you can see, there is nothing insanely magical that is happening here. Just basic. So I'll just paste it up here. Password length. I'll just go ahead and do the word wrap. There we go. 
looks nice and uh, that's all we have to do majorly this will give us the result back and what we're going to do is we need to set this into the state because we have a state for this if you check this this is a password and we also have to check this is password generated so let's go ahead and do this so first and foremost set password there we go in the set password we'll just pass on this password result and since the password is generated because we'll do some conditional rendering we will also check this set is password generated as true so that is it that is all what we want to do as the logical part in here so super simple there is nothing super complex in here now we'll also finish in this video itself uh, the reset password or the reset state this is a common practice that you're going to see that happens at a lot of places that people like to reset the state so somebody might give you a reset button or maybe there's an error after some time you want to clean up all the state of, of the forms and all of that uh, the logic in here is really simple all the state that you have for example there is a state of uh, set password so go ahead and make it in the original state we can see that in the original state what we have is set password is empty string so we'll just go up here and we'll say hey now the set password will become empty state similarly we have to do it for all let me do this quickly for all of them all right so just quickly caught up that this is use numbers shouldn't be like that so this will be set numbers and although you can name it anything but i think consistency is really something that we would love to have so we'll just give this one as set numbers so really the two ones that are remaining set numbers is going to be false and the final one that we have is set symbols which will also be false not fail false there we go so now this is it this is all what we wanted to do and we have done all this now the only thing that's remaining for us is have this return because right now we are returning just the app and we have also some style sheet now style sheet i'll give you directly in the next video because we have already worked quite a lot on the styles i'll just give you you can just download them from the github as well in the next video and we'll just work on this one with a third party library so there will be a new something really new that we'll be learning in the next video so that you can write some blogs about it on hash node if you have enjoyed this part as well it was a pretty simple uh, go ahead and share your experience about learning this series on Ashnode and just go ahead and embed this video as well. Maybe somebody will find it out. That's all for this one. Let's catch up in the next one.